I just love beautiful hair. And I hate to see beautiful hair damaged. So this segment, we're gonna teach you about what not to do with any flat iron that you might be using. The tendency, because of the thermostats, and most of them are really not thermostats, they're just heating elements, you end up pulling over the hair and pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling to get it flat. Or you go in a second time and do it again and again and again, or maybe a third time. And then you come home and you even do it a fourth time before you go out with that very special other, other person in your life. So in turn, that's not what you're supposed to do, but if your iron is not thermostatically correct, if it doesn't hold that heat all the way down, you're gonna find yourself overusing that curl iron. The other thing is, you don't wanna to pause too long on the ends. If you pause too long on the ends, because those ends are soft and they're frail, they're the oldest hair on the head, and I know they're stiffer than the rest, but if you have the right product on there, the right proteins in there with the beautiful hair products, you'll have a supple end so that it takes that curling iron or flat iron and gives you that finished look that you want. So what do you don't do? Don't hunt and peck and peck and peck and peck and pull and pull and pull on your hair because also if your hair is thin, you're wearing extensions or hair replacement, you'll find that you're gonna break hairs and those hairs don't grow back once you break them. So. Again, one smooth, even flow as you're gonna see in the next segment, and you'll get that straight look that you all want and to keep beautiful hair. I'm Jeffrey Paul. Remember, beauty begins within.